Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Table Talk. On this show, we talk about your topics, that's right, you, by sending them in to Twitter via the hashtag Table Talk, or you can do it on Reddit, on r slash SourceFed, or you can do Facebook, even though we haven't really gone there for them, but we're going to try, we promise. <laughs> uh, I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. And before we dive into the bowl, I have a question for you guys. What is your go-to face when someone else is introducing Table Talk? I just smile. It depends. Usually a smile. I, I get so awkward. And then I'm like, I've probably been doing that for a while. I should change it up. I'm going to drink some coffee, I think. Now I'm going to look at Wait, Steve. Shit, I'm looking at Steve. Hold on a second. Now I'm going to. Uh, uh, you know I what's going to happen? You, everyone's going to, they're going to go into all the table talks and where you're in it. And weird. they're going to look for it. Can we do a quick little montage? No, of it's always work. weird. It's always we me being that. like. <laughs> <laughs> any video with yeah. anyone else is entering yeah. it. The only thing I think about is I always notice on Table Talks when I sip my coffee that I flex my mouth weird. So this time when I, I, flex, I drink my coffee, I was like, hey, don't flex your mouth weird. Okay. You, really? you at home, try it. Try putting a, a camera on yourself for just like 10 seconds and not saying anything at all and maybe drinking coffee. And then look at how weird it looks. I just, weird. I, just weird. I think about boobs when I'm not on camera. Really? Well, speaking of that, Nabooby says... <laughs> Choose five people, fictional or otherwise, to be in your crime fighting crew. This person says there's our Gandalf, my Iron Man, oh, yeah. Betty White, my grandma, and Arya Stark. Wait, That's so we can put anybody? Five, anybody, fictional or otherwise. You know who I want? This is going to be very strange, but hmm. Richard Harrow from uh, uh, Boardwalk Empire. Okay. First guy I think of, right? Because really? that dude is okay. such a badass. Okay. He's a sharpshooter and he's amazing and he's okay. got a good heart. Mm -hmm. That's my one. Okay. You say we said five? Yeah. We have to pick five? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Do three because it's quicker. Yeah, it's yeah. way quicker. Okay, okay, so I'll take Richard Harrow. I'll take, um, God, I gotta get a good superhero in Do there. Do this finger next, not this finger. Which one? This one? <laughs> <laughs> Blur. Beep. Uh, beep. Ah, uh, fuck. I can't think of. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Bad super iron. That is not okay. one person. Come on. Yeah. Do you, do you... Batman. All right, I'll have Batman. I'll take Batman. Okay. If they take it, you can't have it. Oh, new, really? New rule. If somebody else takes it, you can't oh, have it. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'll take Richard Harrow, I'll take Batman, and I'll take, uh, um, I'll take Gandalf. Why right, not? Cool. Wait, okay. but that guy chose Gandalf. That's, That's fine. okay. Forget it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to take The Rock. <laughs> of course you are. Byung Hoon Lee. Bless you. Thank you. And I'm gonna take the Joker. What? Boom. Wait, the he'll just double guy. cross Here's you. Here's the thing. Uh, it says crime fighting, but we all know I'm a super villain, so <laughs> my team is now all super villains. Wait, but The Rock won't be a bad guy. Yes, he will. Uh, Are you kidding? Might. To like save his long lost Here's love, the thing. he'll break some. We're long. not talking about anybody's motivations. And if he decides he wants to be a good guy, I'll play some of Vin Diesel. Who's the big guy? No, Jen. Young Hun Lee is uh, he's in GI Joe. He's one of the hottest Asian men. Wait, so you alive. just want hot guys around you? These aren't particularly. <laughs> no, like he's like. <laughs> wait, you just see her for that? Did no, you see him in GI Joe? He's like a martial arts master. He's like yeah. a fucking badass. And also, we would have sex. Okay, I want um, Chuck Norris. What? <laughs> Chuck Norris. He's see, racist. I, I want. He's like, racist. Yeah, he's like he's an a asshole. Homophobic. He's uh, like super religious. He okay, hates curse word. Well, is he homophobic? I, I can't remember if it's homophobic remember. or if it's racist. I think it's homophobic. It might be homophobic. I want Chuck Norris. I want the Hound from Game of oh, Thrones. Oh, that's a good one. That's good. And, oh, maybe it's, it's a I want Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm, I'm taking Arnold. All people who are past their prime. Chuck Norris and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yay. Don't mess with Chuck Norris. Well, Arnold yeah, Schwarzenegger I will now. Mess with Chuck and you don't mess with Arnold Schwarzenegger either, man. That is dude it, is rough. But well, wait, isn't Arnold Schwarzenegger now or like Predator? No, you have to you have to go no, now. Predator. No, 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 you, you have now? to go now. No, and it's Chuck now. Norris and like karate movies. Okay, again, we're not time traveling. It's now. Well, if you can have fictional characters, I want They're their character. Now. I want Arnold Schwarzenegger's character in The Predator. Yeah, okay. And I you want Chuck Norris's. Because, I mean, cause, well, like, I, ch I chose Gandalf, and technically he's dead. Spoiler. Well, but we don't know. In the books, well, I mean, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just think I, it's, it's, like, different with fictional characters and real people. I'm not taking Byung Hoon Lee when he was 25. I'm taking him now when he's, like, 40. And, and I was also, uh, the other one, it was going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger or Q. From James Bond. So here's the thing. He can, get, uh, he can get my computer -y research -y work Here's done. the thing. Uh, Gandalf's going to you shall not pass the rock. Batman's going to take out Joker because he does it every time. And uh, 
who, and Richard Darrell's gonna sharpshoot your flippy dude, Mr. High Kick. I don't know about that. that uh, I feel like that was almost borderline racist. Mr. Mr. High, High, Kick? High Kick. If you'd said like you Mr. Said he's yeah, one. it would have been real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him Mr. Handsome. And I, I've seen Mr. Handsome dodge bullets in movies before. Yes, he has, and he will fucking cut you. But will he be able to dodge <laughs> kick ass magic, like fireworks? Well, you Gandalf. already said uh, Gandalf yes. is fighting somebody else. But I mean, Gandalf will take out the rock like you shall not pass. Oh, super oh, oh. And the rock will just go like this, kong, and then Gandalf. Is done. No way! The You're Rock done. can't beat Gandalf. Done. The Rock's just a dude. Why are you shut up? Me? Gandalf is a wizard. Wait. Okay. He's a Mithrandil. Q and Andre the Giant. Or wait, my final five. Under- oh, Those are my final five. Those are my final five. Wait. Okay. Wait. If we're going there, I'm taking an honorable mention. I'm taking the Dread Pirate Roberts. Oh! Boom. Either one, Carrie Elwes or Inigo Montoya. Okay. Hold on. Either hold one. on. I bring in Galactus, and you're all dead, basically. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next question. Uh, Justin Falk says, "How was the internet influenced today, or how has the internet influenced today's youth in a good or bad way?" Uh, well, I feel like it. We're much more. I was going to say much more con- Obviously, we're much more connected. We're more connected. But youth, I feel like there's such a wealth of knowledge that yeah. now we take it for granted. Like, when we were growing up, it was like, totally. how do you tie a tie? Well, now you have to ask someone, like, yeah. Dad, how do I tie a tie? Now it's like, screw those, YouTube it. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing about that is, like, if your dad only sort of knows or yeah. knows the well, wrong you way, only now you know the wrong, the wrong way and dad. a long line of the wrong way to tie a knot. Yeah. Which happening. is kind of awesome. Yeah. And, like, that you could start a new way to tie a tie. And that's the story of religion. But I think in on the flip side, Side of that is I love that. On the flip side of that, <laughs> it's um, it's made people more uh, like less respectful of knowledge. Whereas like when you had to seek out knowledge, you rem- yeah. had to remember it. Yeah. Blah, blah blah. Now it's like man, I'll just YouTube it, so I can just, I don't have to remember it. I'll just get it some other time. I'll Google it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think that the I think the only negative I can find from it is that everyone's so used to instant gratification. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like being able to get things immediately, which I mean, little kids are anyway. Little kids are. Well, I want this and I want it now. Um, but when you actually get it now, almost all the time, when you can't get it now, then I would imagine that you're very pissed. I guess, but with that said, like, that's a future we'll just have to accept now. I mean, when yeah. we were kids, we had to go through books and go to the damn library to get all Card of our Card catalog and, and all that like shit. That, that damn Dewey Decimal System. Damn you, Dewey! See, I love the Dewey Decimal System because I knew exactly where all of the World War II books were stored yeah. in the home and then the Dewey Decimal System, and I would just go straight to that case. But my, my, like my point was going to be that, like, so, We'll accept the instant gratification thing. We just have to, even though damn kids get off my lawn. Uh, but my <laughs> thing is, is I think it, the internet has made the youth more tolerable of a lot of different things. So like I think tolerant, I, yes. tolerant, 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 yeah. and tolerable to adults. Yeah, they've done <laughs> <to people>, yeah. <laughs> Lip flap. Uh, yeah, but I mean, and honestly, because especially with the whole Reddit thing, like I always go to Reddit for the internet youth because I feel like that's where like most are kind of congregating. Well, we're right being, now, we're, right, we're in a war zone. We're in a war uh, zone. No, right now because it's summertime. The youth yeah. are on the Reddit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When and we hit August, September, the youth go away and Reddit returns to its former. See, glory. I don't know that they go away because every high schooler that I talk to all day is on their computer. Like study, like I'm in study hall. I'm on YouTube and Reddit. Yeah. Well, or, like, yeah. I'm in no. class and I. I'm allowed to take notes on my laptop. See, if they're, I'm really just on Reddit. But if they're on Reddit, like like I said, Reddit is kind of like the new college, mm-hmm. if you think about you it. Learn so you learn really learn so much. much. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not being like, I'm on Reddit, like, I could just be whacking off. I mean, like, I'm on Reddit, you like, well, be. And the best you thing, could be. I mean, it depends which subreddit you're on. The, the best but. thing about Reddit, though, is that, like, you'll go to a, a, a thread where, you know, it's a very hot topic or it's something mm-hmm. that's very, like, controversial or taboo, and... Nine times out of ten, the most upvoted comment is usually the most, like, well thought out and intelligent one. And I, well, I feel like I learned so much. Like, it'll be like, like, ask science. R slash ask science has helped me so much. It's like, what would happen if yeah. Mars just uh, blew up? And I'd be like, oh, and the top comment is like, well, I studied this for my yeah, dissertation. Yeah. And, blah, blah, and I'm like, oh. That's the thing. Like, real yeah. professionals... Yeah. Actual scientists and lawyers and doctors, they're yeah. all Redditors, and they'll jump in and they'll that's, chime in. Yeah. Um, the most amazing thing is that's how we found out what that growth was on you, Steve. I know, and we found out that it was herpes, in fact. <laughs> and I <laughs> did get it from you, Meg. Wow. wow. I swear, I was taking my medic. I just drooled on myself while I was My mommy. mommy said dental hygienist, and if you share drinks, you can spread oral herpes. So it's is not that true? necessarily um, from sex. I do. Nope. Uh, I do want you to know. Not that I don't trust you. Not that I don't trust you. Either. My coffee. Um, 
I did yesterday, I opened a contact case with my mouth and in my head was oh, Trisha's no! booming voice going, they're jewels, not tools! They're jewels, not tools! That's what my mom always used they're to jewels, say. jewels, not tools? That's what yeah. my mom You use your teeth to open anything. My mom would always say, they're jewels, not tools! Every Wait a minute, time, try though. telling that to a fucking caveman! Though. Well, okay, now, we live down. Did we have dentists back when cavemen were around or did they not care so much about their teeth? Exactly. No, every now, time. Now, care about your teeth. You only get one set. I do anything oh, with my a whole new I think set. of you and your mom. I've been it's time. very funny. My mom is hilarious. Her license plate Her says Flossom. Tools. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay. That's a very um, mom thing to say. Yeah, my mom's awesome. All right. Dial R for Reddit says, mm. if you could choose one animal to instantly become extinct, what animal would you choose and why? Spiders, wasps. Wait, maybe what? You well, get one. Wasps. <laughs> I'm wasps. gonna. I 100% spiders, wasps are on my head. Since you said both of them, scorpions bring it. World. Wait, but scor okay, so scorpions are the fucking. All right, world. Yeah. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, all the time. Okay, okay. So I'll ask you this because you've probably all experienced the time. scorpians. I've They're never. They're all over Texas. I've never ever ever experienced a scorpion in my life. I'm deathly afraid of spiders, and scorpions are arachnids. Oh, but I'm so not afraid of. Them. Oh no, no no no! You don't know when you live where they live in your shoe. I put. Oh, and I still. No. I shake out my shoe still, even though I live in California and they're not really here. I, one time in Texas, shook out my shoe. That motherfucker held on. He held oh. on to my shoe, and I didn't know, and I put my foot in, and I double knotted it before he was like, haka, haka, haka. Oh and I got stung three God. times on my foot, and I had to undouble knot it, and then launch it at a door, and he just came out. Wait, you didn't crush him with no, your feet? No, then he came out of the shoe. Oh, I didn't crush it with my foot. He stung my foot to be like, eh, fuck you, get off me. Wait, but and when then, your foot was in there, you yeah, didn't kill Yeah, they're little. They're skinny. So they he like, like, they like. Squatch. He was like, I get it. I was in his space he thought and he was trying to defend it that's my shoe that's your shoe so then and i your killed home. him beyond dead his soul died <laughs> yeah, I, I was good like, ah, and you performed you a ritual so that he's in hell forever but that's they're everywhere have. in the hill country outside of austin where i grew up they're everywhere and they are super they will get you okay but i mean they still just walk wasps fly and they will not stop. Well, that's the thing. And wasps, they can sting you more than once. They can sting you more than once. Well, scorpions can sting you more than once and wasps do fly. We all know I'm allergic to bees, so I completely agree, but scorpions live where you sleep. They go under your pillow, they yeah, go under your shoes. Yeah, wasps you can keep they out of like your house. They like to be burrowed in How does places. It, what does the sting oh. do to you? Does it It you hurts like hell at first and then it itches. Mine does it like itch. swell? So it is like a spider bite. Oh, it swells. Bite. It's definitely like a spider bite. It swells and like my foot was all swollen. But they can be um, fatal to babies, like certain types of scorpions. They're not in pets. Fatal to babies? Wow. You got my vote on the scorpions. Ugh. I was like sitting here trying to think of which animal I'd like to be extinct. And a lot of me says uh, wolves because they're super scary. Um, but but they're really scary. Yeah, but we need um, wolves in our ecosystem. Why? Okay, well, we're talking about this is no impact to the ecosystem. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like what? Well, because, yeah, killing. Just, did you ever see white fang? Spiders extinct would be see, crazy yeah. for the ecosystem. Did you ever see white fang or Journey of Natty Gan? Wolves can be good companions. It's not Lassie. And friends for life. They tear you apart. You also hate Lassie, so it's okay. I'm not, the, I don't hate Lassie. I'm not the biggest. La you wouldn't have dinner with Lassie. She I would, would have not been, have she, dinner with She had Lassie. her dry eyes at the end of Old Yeller. She didn't cry. <laughs> she, 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 she chuckled. She cheered. We watched it in school, and I was like, and oh my me. God. Really, like, where the red fern grows? I remember watching that in school. Oh, we watched like, that in school, too. <laughs> Dude, Sounder? I don't know what Sounder is. Oh, you guys know Sounder? No. Oh, I, the I honestly, grows? I avoid dog movies. If I, can. if I have to watch it in school, well, dog movies avoid you. You so. know what? The people equivalent to the where I broke down in school, our town. Do you remember that? Play? I was in our I town. I know the play. Really? Yeah. You were in I, it. Yeah, it was Joe Stoddard. Good job, Stevie. <laughs> Came out with my umbrella during the funeral scene. Said my three lines. Went backstage. <laughs> done. Fuck some bitches. Yeah, fuck some uh, bitches. Some drama <laughs> bitches. No, we watched it in, I would think I was a junior in high school and we watched it and then she turned the lights on afterwards and I was like, <laughs> I was the only kid in class who thought it was so sad. And I was like, I have a new lease on life oh. after watching our talk. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that it, that it touched you like that, Mary. You make me happy. Wait, so is that really your choice of the wolves? animal? Is wolves? Wolves. I don't know, scorpions, that was a pretty compelling scorpions argument. Scorpions is good, scorpions. but I wonder why, especially like on Reddit and stuff, I always go to Reddit on this because that's like the internet leeches? I have mine. But Ooh. how come scorpions isn't like a bigger deal? Like it's definitely uh, spiders very, or like... Well, because like, you know, 
Oh, that's a good one. But you can see out of the water. They're yeah. not going to come get you yeah. in your home. Yeah. I feel like scorpions are only in certain places. Like, they're supposed to be in Southern California, but I've never seen yeah, them. Yeah, I've, I've never seen one in, in real life be, unless it was behind glass and in, uh, in a place. Right, but in Texas, like, where just because where I grew up, they're everywhere. How... How is this as a mode of defense against scorpions yes. if you always carry around like a nine iron with you? <laughs> That's a horrible thing. Just when you, you, just, you, you just need a good boot out of probably. your house. Yeah, you need a good boot. But we used to, because they were everywhere, we used to do things like if you put it in bleach, like does that kill it? Like Whoa. You know, all sorts you guys of things. If you touch the back of it, will it sting itself? Which it will. You guys got all Hannibal. Yeah. With it, oh, then. well, because it came into my house. Now you must die. The bad one that we always had to deal with in Pennsylvania was ticks. Ew! Ugh! They give yeah. you Lyme disease. Yeah. Dude, what about like all? The, but it was really just like not even a normal thing because they're so around. It's like, oh, did you go out to play today? Come in, let's check you for ticks. Like Ooh. all the time. What about deer ticks? Those things are like That's the big fat ones. Ugh. Ooh! What <laughs> about the Yellowstone? Deer ticks. They have the tiny ass little ones that give you Lyme disease. See, okay, they we when I went to Yellowstone or was it um, uh, Fossil Butte? Wherever that is. Sarah took me. That's all I remember about it. Because it was like fossil butt. <laughs> Sarah actually clubbed him over the head, put him in the trunk. And she totally there, did. So we were at fossil butte. It, it was in your great? backyard. And you're just like, <laughs> we, went, we went in and it was like a really cool museum. But like right in the front, like on the front desk, they've got this little like formaldehyde jar. And mm -hmm. inside they had like a giant deer tick or like a grass tick or whatever. And okay. they were like, watch out. Because if you walk through any brush, mm -hmm. this little guy could like fucking that's, hitchhike That's how it is in you. Pennsylvania. Like especially like if you're, if you have long hair or like whatever like they can drop out of trees if you walk under see, a tree see how are you had it right man stay in your house put on the milk box shoes and fucking don't ever go outside and pee in bottles yeah pee in bottles because <laughs> the toilet has spiders or snakes that wash come your out hands and bite a your million junk. times and be obsessed yeah. with yeah, yeah yeah fuck it because wasps scorpions <laughs> and ticks I, thank you guys yeah. <laughs> no I was gonna say I see if I we talked about spiders remember talking about killing spiders or letting them outside yeah oh wait kill them uh, I kill them if they're in my house. Today I saw one outside in my stairwell, and I was like, I'm gonna let you live. Yeah, yeah. Good. I'm learning. I let them live house. outside. You're I right, let them live you're outside. Right. But when they're but in if my they're house. Heading, it was heading away from my door. If it had been toward my door, <laughs> all bets yeah. are off. Invade my home, in, anywhere in your in my home, and I can do whatever shit I want. I can pull your damn legs off one by one if I want. What do you oh, guys think is the best spider defense? I don't have one because I just got bit in the face by one. Uh, yeah, that was rough. I know what the best oh, spider but... defense is. Huh. Fire. <laughs> you burn spider. Oh, yeah. yeah a little you... flamethrower, done. You know what? Well, like a grill lighter. Yeah, a little grill. Lighter. Yeah, a little grill. <laughs> no, you just get a grill lighter and hairspray. <laughs> Fuck you, arachnophobia. Uh, and you, and you just, just burn, burn a hole awesome. on your wall? Well... Well, small price to pay. Small price to pay, indeed. Uh, what I've been using, I actually looked up like holistic uh, things to do to keep spiders oh. away. Because after I got bit in the face, it was very traumatic. Uh, apparently, they don't like lavender or citrus. Okay. So I have a lavender candle next to my lavender. bed. Lavender. Which I oh, love. Oh, how's so that I work? So I light it every, for 30 minutes before I go to bed every night. And I, no spiders yet knock on table well, upstairs at all. Well, is isn't. Is, this could be a lie, but I read on the internet that humans swallow eight spiders a year in their sleep. I'm sure I swallowed the one that bit my know. face and he deserved it. Because they get on your face, they can crawl right on oh, in there. Oh, Trisha, don't do that. Oh. They can. It's all right. You're asleep. You don't remember. <laughs> And well, thank protein, you guys right? so much for watching Table Talk. If you want to join in and send us topics, mm -hmm. I know we only read like two in this one. You can do it on Twitter yeah. uh, using the hashtag Table Talk. You can search for the hashtag Table Talk or, wait, no, that's what we do. Wow, I'm retarded. Here you we go. You can go to r slash SourceFed also and on Facebook. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Trish Hershberger. And uh, let us know in the comments down below what your favorite spider defense is because I like to learn new ones. I usually just flip flop it. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the best way to go. I always do the, I try to get Penny to eat it. Never works. I know. Then I flip flop it. Really? I'm like, oh, she normally gets excited about bugs, but she'll go, she'll do this thing where it's like, you're the spider and she'll go, mmm. <laughs> Just she like wants to like play. It's like when a dude's trying to kiss you and you're like, no! Do the, <laughs> the head duck. <laughs> With the pat on the back. I know too well. <laughs>